Yes, yes, people. How are you all keeping? It's your boy Gamza, and we're on time today, so it shows it's never me when we're running late. But let's get into the transfer daily. Yes, hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's good. Enjoying your nice fresh morning, sun shining. It's quite a nice day, so transfer's been a bit quiet today. Um, not really much to report. It's the same kind of stories going around. Obviously, Flavic is the big main talking point. Arthur is wanting to join Arsenal. However, it seems like we're waiting on Juventus to find a replacement for him. So that's just kind of in limbo. Um, and you will probably see Kalasanak is now left. Um, so loyal servant to the club, massive servant to um, Ozil. <laughs> um, but didn't, didn't really sell it. Like He started off pretty well in his Arsenal career. Um, and then seemed to tail off after the first season. Um, but again, he was a solid enough player, just didn't really do anything special. And you can see the difference with Kieran Tierney being a massive upgrade on him. So wish Kalazanak all the best. It seems like Marseille is just taking Arsenal players for fun. That's now Saliba, Gwenduzi and Kalazanak they've got from us this year. Um, so I feel I think he'll feel right at home with those guys around. Um, it is permanent. He's had a mutual termination of his contract. Um, and he's now left, so it's not alone with him leaving, like on a free in the summer, just terminated his contract, and he's now officially gone and off the Arsenal books. Um, with Pablo Mari looking like he's going to be leaving to go out on loan to Udinese, is this the kind of freeing up the funds to, in order to get the Flavich deal done? Um, reports are saying he's been offered a staggering 300000 a week to join Arsenal, which I feel maybe a bit too too much at this stage in his career 21 years old um and again where do you go next if he wants now to say he's enjoying arsenal and he wants to now sign a contract extension you're now talking 400,000 do you know what i mean for the next contract so i think that's a bit too much unless it's like 200,000 with bonuses in there which will boost up to 300,000 a week so like a goal bonus a win bonus and if he hits all of those bonuses on the week then he'll get 300,000 a week maybe um but time will tell. Um, but it's believed Arsenal are going to step up and put an official bid in in the next 24 to 48 hours. So hopefully we can see some movement on this soon. Um, and it seems like we're working very hard to get that one done. Um, into the midfield, as I said, Arthur is still heavily linked. Um, talk is it's just Juventus now. We just need to accept the loan up bid. Um, obviously, there's no obligation to buy in it. It's just literally a loan. Um, Juventus has said they're looking for a replacement. They've actively been playing Arthur since we've been linked with him. Um, I think he's featured in the last four or five games. So they're definitely showing him that he's valuable to them. However, is it just a ploy to kind of keep him or force Arsenal to maybe try and buy him? Um, but Arsenal definitely heavily linked with him and he's rumoured to want to come to Arsenal. Um, so we're hoping we can get that tied up. Um, with Thomas Partey. Seems like he's, well, not seems like Ghana have been knocked out of the African Cup of Nations. So hopefully Arte jump on the next flight back to England and get himself ready um, to, you know, come back and play. It would be amazing if he plays on the weekend because that means he didn't actually miss any Premiership games when he was at the AFCON. Um, <laughs> yeah, it seems like a real quick trip. But yeah, hopefully he should be back and in contention for Saturday. I think it would be too soon for him to feature today. Obviously, he only played yesterday and needs to travel back from Cameroon. Um, so I can't imagine we're going to see him in the Liverpool match. However, I expect to see him hopefully against Burnley. And hopefully he has a new midfield partner because obviously Shaka will still be suspended. Um, it would be interesting to see how we line up today, who we play in midfield. Um, obviously, kalazanat has gone. Pablo Mari is literally on his way out. So them two aren't available. And... Yeah, I haven't heard anything about this fixture being cancelled this evening. So it looks like it's either going to be a Chambers or Ben White potentially playing in the field, unless we have an ESR or Odegaard available who might then sit in that role, um, or hopefully both are available. Um, but yeah, obviously we did the preview yesterday. Now I'm lying. We've done gunslingers yesterday. We've got the preview later to this evening, 8 p.m. Make sure you tune in for that. I'm saying today, like we're playing Liverpool today, it's tomorrow. I'm having a mare. But guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a good day and we will speak to you later for the preview show. <laughs>